he's, yeah. he's got his uh, he's got his Tuesday nights at the uh, cellar bar. Mm -hmm. it used to be Miss Run Rose. Before that, it was the grape shop bar. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he, he's doing very well. And I've got his hand it to him. He's stuck with that fastidiously. Yeah, he, he's a nice bloke, and he's he's doing yeah. he's done very well. I've played there a few times. Yeah. Really, really nice. Oh, and it's it's a place where you can have fun. You know, you can. Yeah. That's what I more or less go out to do now. Yeah. Just have fun. Yeah. I'm not one of these glory seekers. That no. I've, I've seen. I've had mine. I've seen. That, yeah. Yeah, I've yeah. seen. I've been there. Then. Yeah. I've got the t-shirt yeah. and everything. So, you know, that, really and truly, it's uh, it's um, it's very good. It's yeah. very good. Uh, there's another band called Wooden Horse with the Ben Church. Oh, I saw them the other week. Yeah, Ben Church, and yeah. he's bought a couple of guitars off me. That's what I do now. Yeah, I'm trying to get him up here, but he hasn't replied. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I'll have a word with him. He has that guitar where he kind of plays it horizontally. Or yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's uh, yeah, that's, um, uh, what's it called, a Weissenborn. Is that it's, what it's a copy of a yeah. Weissenborn. Yeah. 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 Um, Bob Brosman had a... Uh, had one very similar, but it was a, a proper Weizenborn. He's, he's a Chinese copper, but it's very good, yeah. very good what it does. Yeah. But he had a national and he's had a 12 string, a harmony 12 string off me, yeah. which is very good. Uh, yeah. Jamie Knight sings very well and yeah. plays wonderful uh, yeah. uh, acoustic uh, acoustic stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I was quite impressed. I got their, I got their CD and uh, they, I gave them probably mine anyway and they come yeah. round. Well they spent a, you know, old Benny spent a lot of money with me really. Yeah. So uh, you know, I really gotta uh, say here have a have a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they take a lot <laughs> sort of thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yes it's 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 quite a strong Yeah. A lot of youngsters coming through on it or? Uh, there's there's young Jack um, Blackman from um, where is it? Oh Somewhere the other side of Warwick, Warwickshire, somewhere. Yeah. yeah. And um, he's he's doing that. Okay. I played with him. I played a bit of harmonica with him uh, last time we were down at Bob's. Yeah. Because there's no side of him. He's probably the youngest one. I saw him. I saw him with Dave Kelly at uh, when the Blues Festival was really going. Yeah. Really cooking when they got him, you know, get uh, down in Adopton. Yeah. And he he was about fifteen then. Yeah. And uh, fourteen or fifteen, and he. Uh, he played very well with old Dave Kelly. Yeah. Oh. Dave Kelly, of course, is the brother of Joanne Kelly, you know. Right. Who was, uh, he sadly died of a brain tumour. Yeah. I remember her very well. I, 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 I was sorry, very sorry to see that. Yeah. yeah. Very sorry, you know. She was, uh, she was a lovely person. But there you go. Yeah. How would you describe the blues then? Sorry? How would you describe the blues? What is the blues? Oh. Are we starting to talk to the Perry? Everybody has to you know. Us now. Well, I, I'll tell you what, it's in. Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> what is the blues? Yeah. Well, I will tell you two studs. This is Studs Turkle, you know, Studs yeah. in Chicago. Yeah. He said, what, are you, what is the blues? Tell me, what is the blues? Uh, and, and I think it was Bruzy, he turned around and said, well, the blues ain't nothing but a good man feeling bad. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Because I don't know what it is. I ain't got a clue. Do, yeah. you, do you write a lot of your own stuff? No. Or? No. Never written anything in my life. Never had a... I did. Well, I did. It? I, well, I did. Yeah. Once when I was in, you know, the folk club or something like that. Yeah. And I wrote the, when the... Um, the thing about Selma, Alabama, the riots were going yeah. on, and I wrote, I wrote a song about that. Yeah. yeah, you know. But there you go. Yeah. yeah. But I've stuck to many the, the, the obscure, and you know, I mean, I've got several national gu steel guitars and yeah. uh, wooden guitars and Gibsons and Martins, and you know. How many have you got? For goodness' sake, must have. Oh a, yeah. Need a host. To I've got a few. I've got a few. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm not telling you where I live. No. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you, were you born? You born in the Black Country, I tell you. No, I was born in Sally Hill. Right. Mm. Okay. Yeah. In the posh bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, when the old man went to keep that pub in Dudley, yeah, I soon found out. Uh, <laughs> well, it, you know, instead of saying having. Words. Yes. They used to hit you in the face, yeah. and that <laughs> I soon learned. I soon learned how to do that, yeah. and I was soon became a street Arab because yeah. the old man with the booze. I mean, let's face it, our old yeah. man was a drunk. 
but that was it. Yeah. And uh, I used to let myself in and out of the cellar flaps. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, yeah. 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 Every now and then became a right street Arab, you know, that yeah. was it. Yeah. And um, I got to the grammar school and uh, didn't like that very much. I got expelled from there. <laughs> oh, yeah. What for, can I ask? Just being me, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. That just, you know, being uppity with the teachers and things. Yeah. You see, because everybody, as soon as they passed that 11 plus, they all suddenly thought that they were public school guys, and yeah. that was it. Yeah. And I just got other interests, yeah. total other interests, and I didn't want that. Yeah. And, uh, and that was about it. Yeah. Um, you know, I went to way to London, had a, had a brief interlude with the Yardbirds. Really? Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll talk about that. Yeah, I was all right, fine. It yeah. was really good. Um, then again, it was me again. Yeah. Um, it, it, it was George Ogomelsky, you see. He was this Russian Jew that used to pay us. But he put up 3,000 quid in 1962, which was a power of money. money. Yeah. It really yeah. was. And um, he wanted to pay us a wage of £25 a week. Now, £25 a week was a very, very good wage. Yeah. But when you got to get that van, pay for the petrol and drive from Dover to Glasgow, mm. back down to uh, Manchester Free yeah. Tate Hall, across to Leeds Town Hall, back down to Lincoln uh, Art Centre, somewhere, you know, yeah. and this, that and the other. Yeah. It became, you, you were sleeping in the van. Yeah, that's true. You were sleeping in the van. Yeah. That's that, you know. That's more or less it. I came back to Starwich and uh, I met my first wife, mm -hmm. and um, I formed a little blues band called the Delta Blues Band. I was approached by young Robert Plant, mm -hmm. who said, uh, "Can I join your band?" I said, "Robert, I said anybody can join my band. What do you play?" And he whipped out this washboard. Yeah. Mm. And. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What did he play on it? Oh, it, it had gone on the side, as in schoolboy by It had gone on the side. It had gone. Bob Plant, yeah. 64 Causey Farm Road, Haley Green, Alzheimer's. Because he was a middle class yeah. Yeah. Starbridge Grammar School. Yeah. Kid. He really was. Yeah. He was, uh, you know, and I said, oh, well, that's that's very nice. Okay, Rob, you're in the band, on you go. And sort yeah. of, it's not like Blind Boy Full of Stuff, uh, Washboard Salmon, Bull City Red, yeah. what have you. And, uh, that 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 washboard was in my possession for forty years. Oh, that made it worth a bit. Until some guys came to the Founds Hotel down here looking for pop memorabilia. Yeah. And I got five hundred quid for it. <laughs> <laughs> the bloke said I can't give you any more than five hundred yeah. quid. Blimey finished up with his arm just about from here to that door. <laughs> <laughs> I said to Annie, I said, just 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 act natural. <laughs> <laughs> Could you tell in those days that he was going to be a, a big star? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I told Stan Webb, I said, see that kid over there, I said, he's got a million. He's got, I'll tell you what, he's got more, more what it takes than I got because uh, he left a perfectly nice, warm, uh, middle class home. Yeah. His old man was an accountant or something. Yeah. Was from one of the big firms, and he wanted him to follow in the Freemasons yeah. and yeah. all the rest. Ricky Cole's dad was the same yeah. at, at Clancy's, yeah. but um, but uh, he wanted him to. Uh, he, he just left home, and he married an Indian, a Asian girl, yeah. Maureen. Yeah. She was from Goa, yeah. but she was lovely. She was. She got a twin sister, and, yeah. and that was it. Yeah. Yeah. And I've I've seen him on and off over 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 the years. I've never been a great Led Zeppelin fan, but no. um, yeah. uh, have a word with him, will it? See him oh, up here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Everybody asks me that. Everybody, <laughs> everybody asks me that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, so after that band, where did you go to then, man? Where? Well, yeah. What? Oh, there. Yeah. Well, I just did various other bands and. Yeah. I fell out with the first wife over various yeah. things, and yeah. uh, I was married to her for 12 years. We only had the one row, and that lasted the old 12 <laughs> years. <laughs> <laughs> so that was about it, yeah. you know. Yeah. And uh, I, I went, I went back to my old trade welding, you know. And yeah. I, I, uh, but I'd always got my guitar up, uh, yeah. 
uh, and my harmonica, and that was it. Just, mm. And uh, we just, I went all over the world doing that. Yeah. So then I quite enjoyed it. Yeah. What I was doing. Your favourite country you played in? Germany. Germany? What was that? The pubs were open, the licensing <laughs> laws were open, they were, they were well <laughs> all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can remember it. Yeah, they were, they were good. They, yeah. were, they were good times. Yeah. And the, the, the best one I had was, oddly enough, it was, it was Barrowing Furnace. Yeah. On Ramsden Docks there, on a job, building a big job for uh, Phillips, Phillips Petroleum. Yeah. And we were there for about three years, and, and, and I felt that all our mates of mine that we see was money in the hand. Yeah. It wouldn't employ any locals because they all worked at Vickers yeah. just up the road building submarines. Yeah. And they were taking out 64 quid a week and we were taking out in those days yeah. about 350 Whoa. tax free you see. Yeah. And then I'll tell you something there was a bit of aggro going on there. They had the union down and all. Well, yeah. <laughs> no you won't you know sorry yeah. pal. Yeah. Well, that was it. Yeah. But uh, I got to regard the people on that side. They were like a family, if you yeah. know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. So you were close knit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, very close knit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You upset one, you've upset a lot of them. Yeah. But I wouldn't like to upset some of those guys. I really no, <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Ready for another? Yeah, sure. Well, what are we going to do this time then? This is an old dumb. Tampa Red, his real name was Hudson Whitaker, but his, uh, yeah. let's call him Tampa Red, it's called Can't Get the Stuff No More. Mm -hmm. 